But first, let's take a listen to this tape. It has quite possibly the worst print through I've ever heard on a tape before. I've rewound it all the way to the beginning and uh, we're going to play it now. Time now for a sales meeting 11973 Newspaper Sectional Readership with RAB Vice President of Services Dave Casper and RAB Vice President of Research Andy Rainey in 3, 2, 1. Since most markets today have only one newspaper and each has many radio stations. Anyway, I thought that was amazing. I mean, that's some bad print through. You can hear it repeat like four times. Time now for sales meeting 11.97.3. News. Well, that's what print through is all about. In this video, I will demonstrate my Tandy computer cassette recorder. Model CCR81, or for you Radio Shack gurus, that's model number 26-1208A. Also in this video, I'll be using the Ambico Made in Korea 49 megahertz wireless microphone system, complete with a long wire antenna and the receiver. because this cassette recorder has no built-in microphone. You have to use an external input, mainly because it was designed to be used with a TRS-80 computer uh, to record programs and data. So why would you need a microphone? You're recording the computer sounds. As you can tell, this is a well-used and abused cassette recorder. I got it brand new in the box sometime in the early 90s from a Radio Shack clearance sale. These things originally sold for about 60 bucks in the computer days, but uh, by the mid-90s they were trying to get rid of it and it was new in the box on the clearance shelf for $9.99, 10 bucks. So I thought it was worthy of buying for that. Bought it, took it home, didn't really have a, a need or desire for a small tape recorder at that time, but I couldn't pass it up for 10 bucks. So, I took it apart, and I modified it. See that little switch? Looking at the back, you can see another modification. That broken vent is no mistake. Focus. Down in there is the motor speed variable control, so you can change the speed of the tape drive battery door. A little bit of corrosion, but not much. Very nice aluminum handle. And uh, the original plastic door was just one of those flip lids that didn't actually hold the cassette. And uh, I took it off rather than broke it off uh, because I was doing some experiments with taking cassettes out of their cases and playing around and things like that and of course I have no idea where it is today and power A was written on there to remind me when I had the phone adapter plugged in so you could record off of your phone line it had a switch that said power A or power B and uh, that was what turned the player turned the recorder on when someone picked up the phone and uh, if you had it set the wrong one it wouldn't work so I wrote it down to remember it power A the reason I put this low speed switch on the side was there was a time back uh, when I was playing with this tape recorder that we decided we needed to record all of the incoming
phone conversations for legal reasons. I won't go into all the details there, but with it switched in low speed, a regular 90 minute tape would last all week worth of uh, typical phone conversations going on. And I had the little box uh, that went with it that would automatically start the tape recorder via the remote jack uh, any time someone picked up the phone. And so we did that at low speed and saved a lot of tape. And we just flipped the tape over and if there wasn't anything we needed on the other side just keep flipping it over. But that was the purpose for that and plus it was fun playing with speeds. Alright Jojo, I'm going to hit record and you tell us something. What are you doing? Do your uh do your scout thing. I Joe promise to do my best to do my duty to God and my country to help other people and to obey the law of my pack. Good job. Hello. I Joe promise to do my best Why is to it do my duty up? to God and my country to help other people. Well, we recorded it in high speed, but you can slow it down. Watch this. Do my best. Is it on low? Now, what do you think will happen if we record at that speed and then flip the switch back to high speed? I don't know. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Alright, did you flip that switch around? Make sure it's in high. Alright. What are you doing? I'm recording you. What are you doing? You were supposed to say the same thing. What are you doing? I don't know. I, Joe, promise to do my best to do my duty to God and my country to help other people and to obey the law of my pack. Period. <laughs> Alright, did you flip that switch around? Sure Alright, you want to flip right. that switch and see what happens? Can you tell what you said? Hey! Can you tell what you said? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but can you tell? No. I don't know. Really slowly. Can you do Put that back on. That's got to stay on, otherwise your popping peas will go poof into the microphone. <laughs> Don't do it on purpose, because it'll make it quiet when we listen back to it. Alright. Say it slowly. I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. How's that for silly? Now that we had fun with that, come over here and watch what ha watch what uh, Ricky does on the video.
I think he's rearranging his room again. In the following video, things over by the window and things over there will have to be taken down at high speed or high speed. I think he's singing. Yeah. What's he saying, JJ? What'd he say? Uh, look at this. How can we find out what he said? Slow it down. Slow it down. How are we going to do that? How are we going to slow it down? Um, record it all that and slow it down. He, I hold him say, look at this! <laughs> Alright, let's record it on the tape recorder. Alright, JoJo, hit recording. Uh, let's go record it. Don't record me, record Ricky. Back up a little bit. There you go. All right, Joe's ready to play back what we have, and he's going to flip it to low speed, too. Go for it, Joe. Joe. That's Ricky. He's a little fast still, but we can understand him no, now. It's too dark. It's too dark. It's too dark. It's He's got a cold too, like I did the other day. If you're watching this video and you slow down the speed and you hear what I'm saying, please comment and say, yep, this, or something along those lines. What do you say, JJ? Who's sitting here? John Cloak. He said my name, didn't he? Mm-hmm. John Cloak. Joe, did we just hear a hidden message? Yes. We did? What did he say? John Cloak. What did he say about me? Let's listen again. And hear what he's saying? Did we slow down the speed and hear what he was saying? Yes. Then we succeeded. Thumbs up. <laughs> yes, Ricky, we slowed it down and heard what you were saying. Jojo helped me. Jojo's my camera operator now. <laughs> Now what? <laughs>